it going guys? It's Ryan from FullDistortion.com. In this video we're going to take a look at I Should Have Known Better by The Beatles. Uh, in this one, one kind of awkward chord, I actually kind of screwed it up there in the intro. That's the B7 chord, it's kind of a weird awkward bar chord, but you'll get it pretty quickly. Uh, the change is a little awkward, but it's okay. Other than that, all uh, simple chords. So go to the website, FullDistortion.com, sign up for the Full Distortion Players Club, and among other things you will get a free chord ebook with all the chords, or at least most of the chords that we use in these lessons. So check that out. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. We uh, really appreciate it when you do that. So now let's take a look at how to play I Should Have Known Better. Okay, so first thing for this one G and D. Gonna get used a lot. So the intro is. Just G and D played through four times, like this. That's the intro. And that goes right into the verse, and the verse starts out like this. Just like the intro, that's the first part of the verse, and then you go to this. So that part there was G, then E minor, then C, then D. So all together so far for the verse, we've got... starts over, so it goes back into that G, E minor, so that was G, D, E minor, then C. And now you're going to go to that B7 chord. So the B7 chord is not awkward in itself. It's like that. It's just like bar across your 2nd frets on your A, D, G, B, and E strings, and then 4th fret on your D, and 4th fret on your B. So that chord in itself is not that awkward, but changing from C to that can be a bit awkward. So again, you're going to finish with, so, G, D, E minor. That finishes off the verse, and that B7 is what leads into the chorus, and the chorus is, starts on E minor, then C, G, B7. So back to that B7 bar chord, again the switch from the G is a little easier because you can use your index finger as an anchor to go from the G to the B7. So you kind of keep that on that second fret on the A, that's going to be your sort of rotation point. So and then rotate into that. So again, the verse starts with E minor, C, G, B7, then E minor, C, this time you're going to go to a G7, which is like this. And that is your low E 3rd fret, A 2nd fret, D open, G open, B open, high E 1st fret. So. Then C. And that 
going back to that GD repetition brings you out of the chorus back into the verse. So let's go through that entire chorus again. So it's E minor, C, G, B7, E minor, C, G, G7, C, D, G, E minor, And then subsequent verses are the same as that first verse we did, and just roll through those verses and choruses. So uh, get that down, play along with the song, it'll help with the strumming pattern. For the most part, the strumming pattern is that same kind of... Doesn't change a whole lot. So yeah, that should give you what you need to play along with I Should've Known Better by The Beatles.